Duly noted, 2-15-2016. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I was teaching a neurokinetic therapy seminar this weekend and also hosting a study group last week on GRIP. And we found a large amount of people have ulnar side or pinky side GRIP inhibition. And um, the ulnar nerve supplies the ulnar side of the hand as well as some of the deep intrinsic muscles of the hand. And a lot of times the GRIP uh, will be decreased because of ulnar nerve impingement due to hyperfacilitated flexor carpal nerus. This muscle actually runs here from the medial epicondyle down to insert onto the fifth med and also the pies forming hemate. Uh, this particular muscle helps you to do this action. And if this action is hyperfacilitated, it can impinge upon the ulnar nerve and actually inhibit some of the grip. Um, these people also can't properly um, go into extension because the muscle is sticking you in flexion. So they might uh, contribute to a little bit of wrist pinching. So what I noticed is that a couple of assessments might help you uh, to be able to know if you need this drill. Um, if you're noticing that you're having a hard time keeping your pinky to your thumb in grip, if that is just not as powerful as the median nerve side, the index finger and third finger, if you're noticing that not as much strength on the ulnar side, then this assessment might be for you. Also, if you can put your hand down and flatten it like so, and as you start to rotate into pronation, the radius, and if you're noticing that you can go to the ulnar side, but it's a little more difficult for you to go to the radial side, then you might also need this correction. I want you to see how mine's gonna actually change quite a bit after I do an active stretch. So the active stretch of the flexor carpal nerus, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, just feel along the ulna here, the inside bone of your forearm, and feel for some tight spots. For me, there's one right there. And so what I'll do is I'll actually start myself in elbow flexion, wrist flexion, and what's called ulnar deviation or adduction of the wrist. You'll start in this position and then you'll extend the elbow, you'll extend the wrist, and then you'll give yourself a thumbs up by radially deviating. So after you do this a few times, you'll start to loosen up some of that tension that's on the flexor carpal nerus. And then as you come to a a position here where you're weight bearing onto the wrist, you want to gently take the opposite side hand and encourage pronation or radial movement over the ulna as you start to lean forward gently. This will give a nice active closed chain stretch to the flexor carpal nerus. And of course, if you have any pain, you want to discontinue this immediately. Just work within a pain-free range. And what you'll notice is you'll start to earn back some of your radial deviation and pronation. You can see my movement is quite different now. And then as you start to notice that uh, your grip will change, uh, I can notice more power in my fifth digit, my fourth digit after I do this drill. Um, flexion and opposition, these actions here are mediated by the ulnar nerve on this side, the fifth digit and fourth digit. So if you want to encourage better grip power, think about uh, the ulnar nerve's relationship to this muscle of the forearm and how it might be overactive. Uh, these assessments and corrections might just be for you. Dr. Kathy Dooley, I'll see you next time.